Okay, I have solved the oil pan issue and I found out what it was. It was a pump. The new pump actually sat right over this just a little bit, uh, right here. Uh, and I had to burn some of it off. So, uh, I burned all that off right there. Dead gummit. And uh, what I use, I use that uh, die grinder. There it is, right there. That's one pad, and I didn't really, I was working on it. It wouldn't have been chewed up if I hadn't. Uh, yeah, but that little dude, boy, it gets it. I mean, it does. And you can get with 3.5 CFMs, get more runtime with it out of my air compressor. If it was 5 CFM, shit. <laughs> but uh, I disassembled it, took it completely apart. I took the gears out. That's actually the pump. What oil fills up from the bottom and it gets in there and when it's spinning from the camshaft, it, uh, it paddles that shit all through the motor. Well, I was going to use that body, the original, because it worked perfect and uh, used the new gears, the pump gears, but I was having an issue there. It actually was just a fraction above it. Um, a gasket wouldn't have took care of that. So what I did is I took the die grinder and ground it down. When I put this on, you'll see how much I had it ground down because this was actually flush with the outside. And we're fixing to assemble it real quick right now. Let's put you over here. So I'm going to assemble it and then I'll get back on here because, uh, well, I gotta do this and then that, and it's time consuming about five minutes and then make my video long. So if you have issues with your oil pan sitting down, I know you've seen it after I had it all put together. I wasn't, it wasn't letting, that damn it. It wasn't letting it come out here and sit on these bolts and then none of these holes would line up so I got to looking at it and I thought the oil pan was the wrong one so I got to checking online and, and it's identical to all the others I've seen this here's a telltale for me right here on it and I looked up the uh, factory OEM and it was identical to this so I said well alright and we have an issue with the oil pump, and we did. It actually hung out over this edge. See this old one? I'll put the old one on there. There. Now you see how much inside that old one sits? Well, the new one was right up against it, right there. So I'm like, hmm. And then I proceeded to take all this shit apart and fix it and then well it just wasn't going to work I was going to use the top with the strainer and everything off the other one that wasn't going to work because they're different in the well right here these this got little holes little slots so I said okay let's do this right here and I did this right here see so now get on there we go there I used tape I put I taped across the bottom with some painters tape and made a straight line so I actually cut about an eighth inch off of that all the way up from the bottom to the top up here and when I put this cap on right here you'll be able to tell oh, shit <laughs> I already got grease and oil all over me uh, I don't want it on the camera but right here this was flush on the outside but when i put it all together i'll show you that i got about an eighth inch that it sticks over but it's fine because see i got plenty of room there and i done put assembled it and everything and put the oil pan on there and that's not going to be an issue on this part right here so peace let me get it together and i'll show you what it's got bye